How many meals do you get from a cauliflower? One, two, well add one more to that and start eating the stem and leaves. Take a look. This hearty and comforting cauliflower stem curry is ready in 40 minutes. Take the scrap pieces of your cauliflower, add some aromatic spices, a bit of tomato, and inexpensive protein sources, and you have a delicious and thrifty meal. I don't know about you, but I have certainly noticed that the price of cauliflower has increased considerably for me. I still managed to get this one on sale for $3.99, but regular price they have been $8.99 so when I do buy cauliflower I want to use all of it and now I know that I can when I wondered if I could use the stem and leaves a quick Google search led me to a traditional Punjabi recipe I'll put this up on the screen called Gobi ke dam no <laughs> Gobi ke dantal ki sabzi take two called Gobi ke dantal ki sabzi that translates to cabbage or cauliflower stock vegetable. And one of the blogs that I particularly took inspiration from was Rushi's Kitchen. And Rushi explains that it is a dish that is made in the winter months. And from what I gather, it seems like it's more of a side dish eaten with roti or prata. It's full of warming spices, ginger, garam masala, and so I had to try it. And then I decided to adapt this recipe and simplify the spices a little bit to what I tend to have on hand. And I added protein to make it more of a complete meal. And this way I can serve it with brown rice and my two ingredient homemade roti for a delicious meal, which now I'm sharing with you. Oh, and have I mentioned that this recipe cost me less than $2 in addition to the price of the cauliflower? Stay tuned to the end for more on that and here's how to make it. Now a huge plus to this recipe is that you don't have to do anything fancy to the stem and the leaves to prepare it. All you have to do is chop them up and wash them. But in case you wanna leave the head of the cauliflower intact and roast it for something like my whole roasted cauliflower that's perfect for the holidays, then I will walk you through how to core this cauliflower without breaking it. Turn the cauliflower on its side and remove any part of the stem and leaves that protrude and are easy to cut off. Now turn it onto its head and carefully trim the remaining core by slicing into it on a diagonal. Take care to not remove too much. You want to leave enough of the core that the florets don't fall off, but you want to trim the densest parts away. You can trim a little at a time to be extra careful. When you're done, you will have an intact cauliflower head for roasting, and you can use the core and leaves for my cauliflower stem curry. If you're slicing your cauliflower into florets, you can actually trim off a lot more of the stems. And you can also scoop up all of these really annoying little pieces that fall off and put those in your curry. Roughly chop all of these stems and leaves into smaller pieces, about one to one and a half inches. It doesn't need to be pretty because these will all soften together in the curry. If there's any part of your cauliflower stem that looks dry and icky or black or just not um, desirable, then you can obviously get rid of that part. I'm going to wash these well in my salad spinner and give them a spin. Another perk to this recipe actually is that you can refrigerate these pieces for a couple days in an airtight container. So if you wanna make your cauliflower recipe first, do that and then when you're ready, a couple days later, you can make this cauliflower stem curry. And you can even freeze these pieces. They're going to get soft and break down in the curry anyway, so you can use them straight from frozen. And now with your cauliflower prepared, these are the other ingredients you need for the curry. Some aromatic spices, I'm using whole cumin and coriander seeds, but you can use the ground equivalents, and I'll put that in the ingredients listed in the description below. Then I use a bit of turmeric, a hot chili powder, or you can use cayenne pepper, and garam masala. Then onion, garlic, and ginger, and canned diced tomatoes, but you can of course use fresh. And then finally the protein. I'm using split red lentils and optionally chickpeas, but I like that they add a bit more bulk to it. Oh, and vegetable broth. And that's it, so let's make it. Heat a splash of oil in a large saute pan over medium low heat. Toast one teaspoon cumin seeds and one teaspoon coriander seeds for one minute to release their aromas. If you're new to cooking with Indian spices and you've never made curries before, then something like whole cumin seeds, whole coriander might be 
something that you don't have in your pantry. So a great way to get started is just to buy a curry powder. This is a mixed spice that has cumin and coriander and turmeric in it and a few other spices. So if you're brand new to making curries, just pick up this and you can add a tablespoon to two tablespoons into your curries and it will still taste delicious. Add half a diced onion and saute one to two minutes until softened and fragrant. Season your curry with a bit of salt and pepper periodically as you add in new ingredients. Now add four cloves minced garlic, one tablespoon minced or grated ginger, half a teaspoon turmeric, and an eighth a teaspoon hot chili powder. Cook for another minute. Then add one cup diced canned tomatoes with their liquid, the chopped cauliflower stem and leaves, half a cup rinsed split red lentils, and optionally one cup chickpeas. Give that a stir and add two cups vegetable broth, bring it to a boil, reduce to a simmer, and allow the curry to cook with the lid on for 20 minutes or until the cauliflower stem is soft and the lentils are tender. Finish by stirring in one and a half teaspoons garam masala and adding a bit more broth if you want it saucier. Serve your cauliflower stem curry with brown rice, garnish with fresh cilantro if desired, and make sure to enjoy it with my super easy homemade roti. I mean, not bad for the part of a vegetable that we tend to throw out, right? And although I am allergic to cauliflower, I have subjected myself to a little bit of discomfort to confirm for you that this is a warm and delicious and comforting meal that will make a great meal for Brian for the next few days and hopefully for you when you give this a try. I mentioned before that this recipe cost me less than $2 in addition to the cost of my cauliflower, which I'll use for another recipe. And there are a few ways that's possible. The first is using split red lentils. I never used to cook with lentils, but they are so easy to cook, they're so versatile, and split red lentils specifically are split, so they're super thin, and that means that they cook in 10 to 15 minutes and they break down in whatever you're cooking. So I love using them to bulk up pasta sauces like this red lentil ragu. I blend them into soups like this butternut squash red lentil soup and add them to my curries like this one and like my red lentil chickpea coconut curry. Number two is making your own vegetable broth, which I've already mentioned, but I have that recipe linked below for you. And basically if you cook with vegetables a lot, just gather up all of the ends and the skins and put them in a freezer bag. Then when you're ready to make broth, you just dump it into a pot, cover it with water, boil it for 30 minutes, strain it, and then you have nearly free vegetable broth. And Third, if you cook with chickpeas a lot, then consider cooking them from scratch. Buy dried beans, it's cheaper. I have another video for that, which I'll link below, and you can make big batches of beans, freeze them, and that way you always have frozen beans in your freezer. If I use store-bought broth, canned chickpeas, and include the cost of the cauliflower, it still comes in under $10 for me. So what do you think? If you are on board with this, then please hit that subscribe button. This recipe, along with everything else I've mentioned, is linked below for you. Brian will have a delicious meal to enjoy, and I'm gonna eat some roti. If this was a complete meal, I could just eat this all the time.